We have always said that we believe in generations. The perfect way to start off this video. So, if you don't know, we got some God of War news today. Pretty exciting. It was delayed till 2022. Nobody should be surprised about that. Like, at all. I mean, come on. <laughs> like... <laughs> Common sense will tell you that. Yeah, 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 not a problem. My problem is confirmed to release on PS4. Now, before I say this, I will mention, yes, it's difficult to get a PS4. Yes, I feel as many people as possible should be able to play this game. However, Sony never, ever, ever made it clear in their marketing or anything of the sort that this game, Horizon, or even Spider-Man Miles Morales would also be on PS4. They never made it clear. Ever. That's why I'm upset, because they did not make it clear. Even if they did something like Xbox, where it's like, hey, you know, for the first couple years, two, three years here, we're going to have cross-gen experiences. Okay, but then let us know. Why am I just finding out that God of War is cross-gen today? Why? You announced it in September. Say it in September. Or, crazy idea, show the PS4 and PS5 logo at the end of the teaser trailer. Like, it's, it's not hard to do. I don't know why they're saying stuff like, we believe in generations, when uh, clearly you, you really don't. What what's major what major games are on PS5 only? Destruction All Stars, which is mediocre at best, nobody plays it. Returnal, which again is mediocre across the board. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people are in between. So that's not really a seller. And that's for a very specific type of audience as well. Demon Souls, for an even more specific type of audience. And yeah, that's not for everybody either. So, And that's not even a PS5 only. Demon's Souls is on PS3 for like 10, 20 bucks. So I'm not even going to count that anymore. So we have Destruction, All-Stars, and Returnal, both mediocre overall. And then we have Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. The only game that seems promising that is PS5 only. Why? Why? I'm not mad that Miles Morales is crushed in that much, but again, throughout the June and September presentations, they made it seem like it would only be PS5 only all these games. So when Miles Morales, we found out wasn't, which we had to find out through the pre-orders, they didn't tell us. It's just like, okay, fine, whatever. It's a short game, whatever. Then when they said the same about Horizon... I was disappointed because I'm just like, okay, you never made that clear before. And now months later, we're just finding this out. And same thing happened with God of War. I get why. But at the same time, it's it's a little ridiculous to me. Like, why, why are we just finding out that this is cross-gen now? Why have you never, ever, ever specifically in a public statement ever made it clear that you're doing cross-gen stuff. When you say you believe in generations and want to make experiences exclusive to PS5 and really want to focus on that, which I have said before, then why on God's earth are we doing all this cross-gen stuff? Again, I don't have a problem with cross-gen. I understand it. I get it. I totally, I totally 100% get it. Fine. My issue is, hey why don't you just let us know? Like, what, what is so hard about telling people, hey, for the first couple of years, these are going to be cross-gen experiences. What's so hard about saying that? Honestly, what is so detrimentally difficult about saying that? Xbox did it. They just said it in a public statement. Like, I don't get it. So yeah, I know people will be confused why I'm mad or upset about it. I'm mad or upset because Sony never made it clear that this is their intention. They didn't ever make it clear especially for god of war and horizon no way they didn't no definitely not and that's the problem 
If they said, or if they even hinted at from the start that these would be cross-gen, fine. Whatever. I don't really care then. It is what it is. But the fact that they're pulling this out of their butts at the last minute and being like, oh, hey, let's tell these guys what. We still got a war in September, and that's the last we heard about it. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Let's wait nine months and then tell everybody that's cross-gen. Why? <laughs> Could, it, would it have killed them to put a logo right here or here or here or even in the middle to be like PS4 slash PS5? Would that really have set the world on fire? I don't believe so. I think it just would have been, you know, common courtesy. Because I know a ton of people in my personal life who are trying to get PS5s for Horizon or mainly for God of War because people thought it would be next gen only. Nope, sorry, um, guess it's not, even though we never made that clear before, and apparently we believe in generations. Yeah, sure you do. So I find this incredibly annoying. And look, here's the thing. If you have a PS4 and you're happy about this, that's great, that's excellent. Like I said, the more people get to play this, the better, because I think it will be a pretty cool game. I don't know, I enjoyed the first one quite a bit. My problem is they never made it clear on the marketing or their press material that anything like this would happen. They didn't. Never. And that's my fundamental issue here. It's not that more people get to play. It's not that it's cross-gen. It's that they fundamentally never made stuff like this clear. And that's why I'm upset. Honestly, yeah. And I feel it's fair to be upset about it because, again, they just pulled this out of nowhere. Oh, and Gran Turismo 7... Oh, man, don't even get me started on that. That's also cross-gen, which, again, is fine. But if you remember in the early marketing material for Gran Turismo 7 before it was delayed until 2022, they said Gran Turismo 7 only coming to PS5. They even said that in the marketing material that went out to the general public. Come on, guys. I mean, really? You can't be saying stuff like that and then changing your mind. Like, come on, dude. Why are you putting that in marketing advertising material? I don't get it. I don't. It's very frustrating. Again, I don't have a problem with it being cross-gen. Fine, whatever. I don't have a problem with it being accessible to more players on PS4. I think that's actually a very good thing. Because who doesn't want to play next God of War? Who doesn't want to play next Horizon? I mean, come on, right? But my point is... Why did they never, ever, ever make this clear to begin with? They didn't. They didn't in the June 2020 showcase. They didn't in the September 2020 showcase. And they didn't for God of War until nine months later. Nine months later. Why? God only knows why. Why? I guess it's because they were too lazy to... I don't... I, it's just... It's so frustrating. It is. Because you can't be telling people one thing and then doing the complete opposite. It's a little ridiculous. And again, I get why there's a huge player base on PS4 that won't come to PS5 and the shortages are crazy right now. I get it. I get it. I don't need to be told it. I understand. I've known this since day one of PS5 pre-orders. This is how it's going to be. But... Again, my problem is they're not communicating this stuff clearly enough for me to be cool with them just putting this stuff out randomly. Like, am I just supposed to be cool with this now all of a sudden? Because they waited nine months to tell people? I guess so. It's just, it's so incredibly frustrating. It really, really is. You can't be like, oh, we believe in generations and want to make sure there's a ton of PS5 exclusive readily available. And then, oh, wait, all the major potential PS5 exclusives are also on PS4 now. Sorry, we didn't tell you that nine months ago. Or any time in between the nine months would have been nice. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm the only one who likes to be told stuff like this. <laughs> Guess it's possible. Kind of find that hard to believe, though. I don't know. I'm a person who likes clear-cut communication. If you can't clearly communicate with me what's crushing and what's not, I'm going to be upset. Especially because these consoles are five hundred dollars do i need to repeat that five hundred dollars that's not something to look at lightly 
it's just, it's so annoying. The one thing I will say is nice though, again, more people get to play it. That's an absolute win, an absolute bonus in my book for sure. And the game will be 60 instead of 70 bucks, which will also be nice. Because I don't think it should be 70 bucks ever. But that's a discussion for a different day. So yeah, this was kind of a rant. I'm just, I'm frustrated that there wasn't clear communication on this from the start. If you're doing cross-gen stuff, you need to make it clear from the get-go. You really, really do. Because you can't be out here being like, we believe in generations. And this is only going to be on PS5. And then like change your mind a couple months later. What are you doing, Sony? Like actually, why? Why? I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it at all. So yeah, this was just a quick little rant on my part because I am very frustrated that they didn't make it clear. Again, I don't have a problem with cross-gen. I don't. I need to make that abundantly clear. Cross-gen is great. More people get to play. Fine by me. I don't care. Doesn't affect me in a negative way. And again, I get to pay 10 bucks less now. So that's also a win, objectively speaking. But also objectively speaking, you need to communicate this way better. Because I was legitimately looking forward to this being a PS5 only experience. I really was, yeah. Because I think it would have been great as a PS5 only experience. Especially a myth as huge as Ragnarok. Like, dude, you need to go all out for Ragnarok. And I'm not saying they can't with the PS4, but... You're kidding yourself if you don't think it's going to be much more of a challenge on PS4 going all out for this because it absolutely will and there absolutely will be sacrifices somewhere and at some point in the game, 100%. We just don't know what they are yet because we haven't seen anything on the game. So, yeah. I'm a bit frustrated. So, yeah. This article is from Eurogamer. I'll put the link in the description. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'm just upset. I want to make this clear one last time. I'm just upset about the lack of communication about cross-gen and not cross-gen. That's all I'm upset about here, fundamentally speaking. I'm not mad that it's also on PS4 and all this stuff. I would prefer if it was PS5 only, of course. I mean, why wouldn't I want it to be the full experience it potentially could be? I don't know. But yeah, of course I want it PS5 only, but I'm not mad that it's not. Just mad that there was no clear communication on this and we had to wait nine months to figure it out. I feel like that's very stupid. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe people are cool with waiting nine months for basic info. Who the heck knows? All right. Talk to you guys later.